In this video, it's all about the 50 millimeter 1.8 and how you can crush it with this lens. Stay tuned until the end where we talk about some of its limitations. It's not many, but one thing is certain, it's better than your kit lens, which we're gonna throw away. In the previous video that I made, I showed you how to flip the lens around and do macro photography with the 50 mm Turn the lens around, zip, but many people didn't know how to do it. So let me show you how to get macro shots with the 50 mm 1.8. Do keep in mind that you should use a tripod for those kind of shots or a reverse ring adapter, meaning that you can actually connect your 50 millimeter to the camera without holding it loose in front of the camera. You get a unique look when you turn the lens around. The bokeh gets crazy distorted. You can even do some lens whacking with it in macro. Lens whacking. What the heck is that? So the same as I showed you with the macro lens, put it the right way, but you don't connect it completely and you just adjust it a bit back and forth. It's getting this dreamy look, which I love. Uh, so that's lens whacking for you. Have you tried it? If not, give it a go. More coffee. Oh, hot. I love the 50mm 1.8 for product photography. Why? Because you get that nice cinematic look, you get like a blurry background. At 1.8, the edges are nice and blurry, and the higher aperture you set, the less blurry and cinematic it gets. And the image starts to get noisy because the ISO is pushed too high, as it doesn't let as much light in as 1.8. So here we are on the 50mm 1.8, set at 1.8 as well. But now, let's see what happens when we turn it down to 3.5, which is usually the lowest your kit lens can go to. Check out the difference. Huge difference, I'm much darker, it's much more difficult to shoot in low light situations with a 3.5 lens. Again, let's throw it away one more time. It is a fantastic lens for portraits and interviews because it has a very natural look to it. You can use it in a studio if you want to, but it's so fast that the only thing you need might be a window. If you don't have a background, you can also put it up to like three and a half or maybe even four if there's enough light to get a sharper image. I suggest you to switch your camera to manual mode, not automatic, and dial it down to 1.8, because if it's not on manual, you might not be able to get that nice blurry background, which is the main reason why you bought yourself the 1.8. But sometimes it's not easy to shoot at 1.8. Now, if you're shooting video outside and it's very bright and sunny, but you still want to keep that nice cinematic look with a blurry background, I do recommend getting yourself an ND filter. So it's basically like sunglasses for your lens so that you can still drop it down to 1.8, even if it's sunny, because if it's too sunny and you put the ISO all the way down to 100, it might still be too bright. So you can get some cheap ones, uh, which works fantastically well. I wanna say a big thank you to Artlist for sponsoring this video. It's the only place that I go to when I need music for my videos on YouTube. And for the last three years, I have also only used Artlist for my professional work. Why? Because the licensing is so good. It covers everything from YouTube, TV commercials and cinema. What? And you can get all of that good stuff only for $199 per year. 
You can also check out their sound effects pack, which costs $150 a year. But if you choose to actually take both of the packs, you're paying $299 per year and that's the solution that I went with because both their music library and sound effects library are growing on a daily basis and the music you download is yours to use forever. If you subscribe using my link below, our friends at Artlist are going to give you two months for free at no extra cost, so check them out. Let's continue with the video. So the 50mm, if you put that on a full frame camera, obviously it's a 50mm lens. However, if you put it on a cropped sensor camera, like a APS-C, it's going to become more like a 80mm. When I first got myself a 50mm 1.8, I only had a cropped sensor camera as well, and I still used it a lot. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is that it will crop it a little bit, so you basically have to take a step or two backwards. Now this specific lens that I'm talking about today is an EF mount or EFS. But if you have a different kind of mount on your camera, you can easily buy an adapter. You can even buy adapter for uh, different brands like Sony, Nikon and so on. And if you get a speed booster for your camera as well, this lens is going to become a beast. Where it's going to suck even more light into the camera and it's going to open it up even more so it's not that much cropped. Let's continue. You cannot use the 50mm lens for vlogging. Right now, I'm actually quite far away from the camera. Let's see the distance. Mm, I can't touch it. I have no way of reaching over to it. I'm far away from it. Way too cropped in to do vlogging. And as you can see, it's not a stabilized lens. Which is not only a problem for vlogging, but can also become an issue when shooting video in general, because you might get these small micro jitters, which will affect your footage. Let's talk about astrophotography. I mean, you can take astrophotography with it. You can take astrophotography with any lens you have, but I wouldn't buy the 50 millimeter 1.8 specifically to take astrophotography because the field of view is not really wide. As the lens is not at as sharp as at 1.8, I would put it down to maybe three and a half, meaning that you might as well use your kit lens. If you're in doubt in buying this little lens, you might look at cheaper um, options. I have made a comparison video with the young new 50mm, which is like a fraction of the price. Check out that video here if that interests you. Now, if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up because it actually helps me out here on YouTube. And this channel is all about making your photography, cinematography and editing skills hopefully a little bit better. So if this interests you, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the comments. Peace. And if you don't have it, buy it. The future is now.